hello guys welcome to my youtube tutorials in today's video we want to do something interesting we want to connect our our Django project uh, with uh, ZAMP MySQL database alright because I realized that I want to add uh, multiple database in my Django project or I want to do away with the default database that is uh, SQLi3 in uh, in Django project but I already have ZAMP installed in my PC so I don't really have to install MySQL again so how can we connect or how can we access or migrate our models from Django uh, project to ZAMP uh, MySQL database so what I'll do here, I'll just create new project. So you see here, I am uh, have a folder called test. So I'll come here and uh, uh, start new terminal. Then I'll try to create, so the first thing I'll create uh, Django project, okay? The first thing I'll create Django project. So you just have to type Django admin start project. So write Django admin start project then you have to specify project name alright you have to give it the project name so let's just call it test1 so that's it so so when you come to this folder called test and you expand this you realize we have test one so whenever you be, uh, you create a Django project you'll have some files here and the main one is called manage.py this is very important then we have uh, settings.py then urls.py so the next step is now we want to create a Django app Alright, we must create a Django app, then add it to urs.py. So come to Django app. So how do we create Django app? This is something that we have done. So you just have to write python manage.py. Then start up. Then you have to give it the name of the app. So the name of the app will be Connect DB, basically Connect Database. So that will be the name of our app. Oops, uh, there's a problem. All right, there's a problem because I have to switch to the test one directory. I failed to do that, so just write CD test one. Uh, then type python manage manage that file then start up and then the app will be connect connect db all right that's it so that's the name of our app connect db so then we have to install the app so the next step is to install the app so go to your to your settings.py so then scroll down then you can see here installed apps so you have to install your app so remember the name of your app is what it's a uh, connect db connect db and uh, then comma so that's it then just save this then next step you have to add the urls.py in urls.py when you open this one here in urls.py you need to add uh, your application here so by default Django will come with admin app so the next app is the next app will be that is connect DB so just write path
just write up then uh, name of your project is connect it's connect db then you So you need to include all the all the URLs that uh, you will create in this application. So just write include. So include. So you realize that you have not imported include yet. So come to path here, then add comma, then include. There we have it there. So you come here. We want to include all the project. I mean all the application. URLs. We need to include all the application URLs. So that is connect DB. That is connect DB. Then dot URLs. That's it. Then you can just add a comma there. So that's it. Then you can just save this. So we are done. So the next thing now, which is uh, our main task here, is uh, is to change the database. Okay is to change the database so you realize that uh, you can come to your settings.py then when you scroll down when you scroll down we have uh, we have database then by default we have uh, a SQLite 3 database this here but we don't want to use this we want to connect uh, uh, MySQL database in ZAM with this so we must create communication or how to access a MySQL database in uh, in ZAMP. So to do that, the first thing we will go to ZAMP and create database. All right, we'll go to ZAMP and create database. So the next thing here we'll come to ZAMP. So this is ZAMP control panel. Then you have to start your server and you have to start your database. That is Apache server and your uh, my sql database so you must take care of this port like uh, this is 3306 this is for windows if you are using maybe ubuntu and then it might be different so this is 3306 then the port for uh, for average is 80 so then you can just click here admin So I'm trying to open my PHP, my admin. So here, then we have to create new database. Okay, we have to create new database. So you have to press here new. Then you have to give the name of database. You have to give name of database. Let me just call it secondary database. Uh, yes so that is the name of my database then I'll just press create and you can see it here we have secondary DB so that is uh, the database that we have so far we don't have any model or we don't have any table so to create these tables or models we will create these models uh, in Django then what we'll do we'll migrate those models into this uh, database that is secondary uh, DB okay so go back to your Microsoft uh, I mean your Visual Studio code then come to your database here then we have to write uh, under this uh, database dictionary here we have to give another key so comma then another key will be let's just call this uh, users users database okay so let me just call it users let me just call it users there all right so there so we are creating a uh, another another dictionary inside a dictionary all right then in users remember your database we have the port that is uh, 3306 then we have the database name that is secondary db all right then you must specify the engine so because you are you are using mysql then you'll have to so i'll just copy this here 
copy then paste it down here so instead of calling it uh, SQL 3 then I will call it MySQL MySQL there all right then we have to specify we have to specify the password have to specify the name of the name of the database the address or the host okay so let me just start with host so host is your local IP address or uh, uh, just local host so you can either write uh, local host or uh, just specify one two seven zero zero one so let me just write one two seven zero dot zero dot one so that is local host you can either write this or just write local host then remember we don't have any password so the name of uh, let's give uh, the name of database so name name of database was what uh, secondary database so it was secondary secondary DB there uh, there then remember we don't have any password all right so password So password we have none so you can leave it default then after that we have to give it uh, uh, the user user it's a uh, route mm, all right a route then we have to specify the port we have to specify the port we have to specify the port remember port is 33 3306 you have to confirm that 3306 that is the port and I guess we are done I guess we are done so with this you'll be able to connect to your your uh, your database that is my SQL database in ZAMP okay will be able to connect to your database but the first thing ensure that in your ZAMP control panel your database is running okay the status of your database must be running all right then you just have to save this project after that we have to make the uh, we have to build some models have to build some models so just save this I guess that's all we need there then so you can come to your your connect DB then you can come to views.py you can come to views.py so we just want to create a model here so you can come to your views.py then create create a model so you just type from uh, from Django DB from Django.db then we want to import what we want to import uh, models we want to import model that's it then let's just create some few models only two I guess uh, I'll use what is in the Django documentation so we just create a class just have to create a class then uh, let's call it a question this is something that is in uh, Django uh, documentation then this class models model dot model so models dot model all right don't have that okay So we have it there. So this is just a class. Then uh, we want to create some fields. So the first uh, we'll have a question underscore text. Then we have to specify 
the characters. So question, let me just type this very fast. So this is just a this is just a variable. Then it will take uh, it will take char field. So models dot char field. So you can see the char field there. Then you can specify the maximum the maximum length of these characters. So we can say maximum length is uh, maybe two hundred. So max length. Let's give it uh, two hundred there after that you can create another field also let's call it a uh, uh, pub underscore date publication date then uh, you can say models then dot this can be this is no longer a chart field but we call it date time field so you can just write date time field here there Then let's just say date published. Let's just write a string there, date published. There. So that will be our first model. That will be our first model. That is class question. Then we can create another model choice. We can create another model choice. So class. Uh, choice uh, okay then models dot model there so here we have a question let's just type question uh, again this will take uh, uh, this is like question ID okay this is question ID let me just give it question underscore ID then this will take uh, models models dot foreign key there there so you just press question comma and uh, on delete And delete models uh, that cascade there yeah. then let me add choice let me add choice underscore text uh, this will be models uh, this is just a chapel then maximum length we can say maximum length is 200 then uh, lastly let's create vote then uh, this is models uh, that, uh, this is just uh, let's just give this as a uh, integer field uh, then this uh, default is let's just say default uh, default is zero. Let's just say default is zero there. So we only have these two models, question and choice. Save this. When you come to your uh, to your database here, when you come to your database, you realize you don't have any model. Okay, you don't have any model. You don't have any model, okay? And we know that uh, when you go to Django documentation, we know that a model is uh, some uh, is a single definitive uh, source of information, okay, about your data. So it just contains some uh, essential fields and behaviors of the data you are uh, storing. So after that, after creating models in Django, then the next the next step is to migrate these models, okay? The next time, we, the next step is we want to migrate these models to a specific database. So remember, in your when you come to your uh, Django project here, and you go to you go to settings.py, 
then uh, we have two databases here. We have the default database and we have users database, okay? We have default and users. Where the default is SQL i3, then uh, we have just created MySQL. So when making migration, you must be specific here. You want to make migrations to what database? You want to make migrations to what database? So remember, we want to make migrations to secondary database in in XAMPP, okay? In XAMPP. So all you need to do is just type python manage.py, then migrate. But this time you have to specify migrating to where? Right together, you have to specify migrating to where? Don't just say migrate. If you just say migrate, then we will assume that you are using the default, the default database. So just type python. Uh, sorry. So you just have to type python manage.py migrate migrate then you have to specify migrate database no, sorry uh, database then you have to specify the database so it is users it is users all right it is users that's all you need then just press enter uh, we have something interesting here we have module not found so we don't have uh, connect db dot urs why because remember in your application you don't have any folder called or any file called uh, urs.py so you have to come to your connect db then you have to create you have to create a new file then let's call this file urls urs.py then just press enter so let's run this again so python manage.py uh, then uh, migrate then database then specify users then press enter mm. so we admit all that uh, in this does not appear to have any patterns in it so if you see this then we have to just to create uh, those patterns there in the so I'm trying uh, let me not jump anything here so I will come here and uh, create new uh, I just say from Django from Django dot uh, dot urls dot urls then let's just import Let's just import a uh, path. Let's just import path. Then uh, from from we want to import views. We just want to import views. Views, and then we can. Uh, uh, there's a problem here. This should be G. Then from here. From here, we can uh, now create URLs, URLs patterns, because you can see here we don't have URL patterns, so URL patterns. So you have to create URL patterns. So URL patterns, patterns. Uh, this is just some uh, some list. Then we can include the paths. We can include the paths. So I don't know if we have any path here. So let's just run this. So let's just save this and uh, let's run it again and see if we can get any error. So Python manage.py. 
I need to apply then uh, migrate migrate then we have specify database database then users let's see yes uh, you can see we have my we have managed to migrate everything so I managed to migrate everything actually you might have a problem here because uh, you have to install the mysql client okay you have to install mysql client model all right yes so without that you cannot uh, migrate your models also so we have managed to migrate our model so let's go to to my uh, to my sql database and check if you have those models there so i'll come to my sql database here then let me just refresh this and you see here in your secondary db now you have this you have all these models here and these models also you have your tables like for example remember we created uh, choice and uh, question we created choice and questions so you see you have your models here you have auth group you have all that there So there's something important that we for, uh, forgot to do here. You realize that uh, we made in our views.py we have we have the models, but we have not created these models in our connect DB. Okay, so you can see migrations for connect DB. So we have created this model question and this model choice. So let's check our let's check our uh, our database now. So when you check your database, you have created them, but now we have to migrate them again so that they will appear here. So go to your uh, uh, Visual Studio, then type Python uh, manage.py, manage.py, then uh, migrate, migrate, then uh, database. Uh, database users yes now let's check our our database our my uh, I mean my my SQL database here now then let's just refresh this so come to your database here and now you can see you have your models we have connect db underscore choice then you have connect db underscore question so you can open these models here and when you open uh, choice you'll be able to see these fields id choice underscore text vote question underscore id then when you open this model question you can see we have id then we have question underscore text then we have publication uh, date so after that now you can uh, populate your your tables after that you can populate your, your, your tables which is uh, something easy you can just develop some forms then you can populate your your database or your tables so thank you uh, I believe that's the end of it so if you have any question kindly just uh, comment down there then I will check them and I will answer them immediately